Chris, um, Lampard has got problems. He has to fix this team. He seems to take one step forward, one step back. Your thoughts on what, what, what we all saw um, earlier on Sunday? Look, I think tactically he did everything he had to do. In terms of the system that the team played on the day, I mm -hmm. think it was very okay. Like Finn rightly said, in that first 25, 30 minutes, they should have blown the game away. They didn't do that. And logically, you don't expect Leicester to be the same level as they were in the first half. Because right. in that first half, they were very bad. So, of course, if it is my if it's your team, come on. They'll, get, they'll, they'll improve. They'll have to improve because that is what they are paid for. So, surely Lampard himself knew that Leicester would come out in that second half and play better. So, the question was, how then would they fare? I think that, I've talked about the game again. I think that if you look at the fact that they played over 90 minutes in midweek, I think in that second half, they should have controlled the game better. They should have taken the steam of the game, but they should have invited Leicester onto them so that they would counter-attack. Because I think that like, if they had kept their defensive shape, because of the fact that Leicester looks fitter in that second half, so why stretch the game like they did? Keep your shape and then go and punish them. But again, you and myself, we've had so many conversations <laughs> on this zona marking issue. And do, I've do you mark the man? Do you mark the and, zone? And, 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 and I've completely told you that my team will never zone mark. Because the tendency of trying to transfer the responsibility to the next player makes everybody irresponsible. That is what I tell my players. Okay. Take charge of the situation and deal with it. So that when I'm doing my post-match analysis, I can say, you are to be blamed. I don't want to be blaming the entire team. So you think it that comes back you to think coaching. that the zonal the, the zonal decision to mark that the decision to mark zonally cost them the, the yes, equalizer. So if therefore there's a better deliverer, somebody who delivers the ball better in the box. He can target your most because when you zone mark, not everybody is that good in the air. Mm -hmm. And if you look at this Chelsea team, apart from Kirk Zuma, none of them would dominate any area threat. Okay. So look at the delivery. Ma Madison clearly took Zuma out per the delivery. He took him out. And once the ball had gone past Zuma, all the other Chelsea defenders yeah. were no match for Ndidi. So all Ndidi, look at the position too of Ndidi. He was at the blind side oh, of I, Zuma, yeah, waiting side. that once the delivery is right and Zuma was out of the picture, he would definitely yeah, attack the ball. And look at who was there. He had Aspliqueta. It was company. Christensen. He will, he will bullet this place. But if Aspliqueta was that close, as he comes, he will body check him, yeah. unbalance him, and that would ensure that okay. you don't get... Right. The, look at the header. It was like a thunderbolt. And it, it, it was player, too easy. It was easy. Too That's easy. why and, he could and, generate and, and, that and, amount and of power. you talk about... One of the reasons Didier Drogba played a lot under Jose wasn't just about his goal scoring. Yeah, he could he, defend he, as well. He could he defend from a set-piece situation. And that goal is not by accident that it happened just when Giroud went out. Yes. So, because Giroud would have been there, is he, he one of the if not the best, best head out of the ball, head of the ball. Yeah. and he would have been doing his defensive okay. duties he well, if right. he was on. So, I think a few things went wrong, and uh, Lampard would have seen it. I, I think yeah. he knows. He knows. He's got work to do. He, right. he, 